this video, <clears throat> we'll review the constructions of a rhombus. To begin, we need to understand how the rhombi uh, have some certain properties that are going to help us to do different constructions. So we're going to start by doing the definition of a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with four equal sides. A rhombus also has some symmetry. There are two lines of symmetry. which are both diagonals. And it also has a 180 degree rotational symmetry. In addition, there's certain properties of the rhombus that help us to do the constructions. In addition to the definition of four congruent sides, in a rhombus, the opposite sides are also parallel. Opposite angles are congruent. There's also three properties that happen with the diagonals of a rhombus. The first is the diagonals bisect each other. Second, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Sometimes these two will be simplified together and we'll just say that the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. And then lastly, the diagonals bisect the angles of the rocks. constructions. Now if we're asked to construct a rhombus, we're going to go to the definition. So in this first construction, they're asking us to construct a rhombus. The way I'm going to do this is tie it to the definition. I know that the definition of a rhombus is a quadrilateral of four equal sides. So I'm going to construct something down here that has four sides and all four sides being equal. In order to do that, I'm going to use my compass. I'm going to take this side length, AB, and I'm going to set that to my radius. So if I set the compass to radius AB, I'm going to use this when I do the construction. And this will guarantee, because all the radii of the circles I'm going to draw have the same length, that all the sides are therefore equal. To begin, I'm going to take length AB, and I'm going to bring it down to this ray on the bottom. So if I put my point on A, so center the compass on A, and set the other side, the pencil, to B, that's radius AB, I'm going to bring this down to the ray. <clears throat> because this length, the radius of the circle, is equal to this length, also a radii of the circle, I know that the um, lengths are equal, which means that length, I'm going to call it point C, so length AC is the same length as AB. Right? Again, I can show that with my compass. This length is equal to this length, because they're both the radii of the same circle. Now, the last point has to be over here. Vertex D is on the side over here. There are four vertices of a uh, rhombus. One, two, three. I need the fourth one. To find this fourth one, I'm going to take, use the same radius that I've been using, and I'm going to find somewhere from the center C where the side would have to be. So somewhere over here is where that last vertex has to be. Now, in addition to being this length from C, it has to be the same length from B. So now I'm going to take the compass, center it at B, take the same radius, and find where it intersects that last circle. Okay, the intersection of the lengths of the circles, where it's the same distance from C and from B, tells me this is the fourth vertex. This is point D, which becomes the rhombus. So side AB, side AC, side CD, inside BD. It's always a good idea to highlight what you're actually constructing. In this case, we're constructing the rhombus. 
So this is the rhombus. It's rhombus A, B, D, C. So again, real quick, summarizing the steps. The first circle has a radius equal to the length of the rhombus that you're going to use. Swing it to the other side so that it's on the ray, and this tells me where the second side is. This is now side AC. The fourth vertex has to be the same length from C and B. So if I draw one circle centered at C and one circle centered at B, where they intersect, there's your fourth vertex. Now for this next rhombus, I want you to go and turn this uh, picture into a rhombus with length AB for all sides. Draw a picture similar to this, pause the video, try the construction at home, and when you're ready, hit play. I'll give you just a moment here. All right, hopefully you've had time to work this out on your own. Again, I'm going to start by setting the compass to length AB. So if I put the point on B, pencil to A, and I'm going to move this measurement over until it touches the ray. Okay, so this length over here, which I'm going to call BC, I know has the same length as AB. The rhombus has all sides equal. I now have two of the four sides. Now that fourth vertex has to be over here somewhere. I've got A, I've got B, I've got C. To find that last vertex, I'm going to take the compass, I'm going to center it at A this time, same length, and I'm going to draw a circle centered at A. I'm also going to draw one centered at C and find where the last two circles intersect. And really this is enough of a direct I see that's going to be right here. This length is the same as this length, is the same as this length, is the same as this length. If all four sides are equal, that's a rhombus. So let's go ahead and draw it in. And then lastly, let's highlight the rhombus. And this would be rhombus A, B, C, Alright, thank you for watching and I hope this helped you understand how to draw the rhombus.